Good morning and welcome to St. Ambrose. Today is November 8th and we celebrate the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our opening song is Praise to the Lord the Almighty. Christ 
Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
letter of St. Paul to the Dillonesians. We do not want to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we will tell this, we will tell this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, or left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Pablo a los Tegonicenses. Hermanos, no queremos que ignoren lo que pasa con los difuntos, para que no vivan tristes como los que no tienen esperanza. Pues, si creemos que Jesús murió y resucitó, de igual manera debemos creer que a los que mueren en Jesús, Dios lo llevará con él. Lo que les decimos como palabra del Señor es esto, que nosotros, los que quedamos vivos para cuando venga el Señor, no tendremos ninguna ventaja sobre los que ya murieron. Cuando Dios mande que suenen las trompetas, se oirá la voz de un arcángel y el Señor mismo bajará del cielo. Entonces, los que murieron en Cristo resucitarán primero. Después nosotros, los que quedamos vivos, seremos arrebatados juntamente con ellos entre nubes por el aire para ir al encuentro del Señor, y así estaremos siempre con Él. Consuélense, pues, unos a otros con estas palabras. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor.
Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. I will not be too sad when the year 2020 comes to an end. No voy a estar muy triste cuando el año 2020 acabe. All the crazy stuff that's been going on this year. Todas las cosas locas que han pasado este año. Whether it's the turmoil and tension of the election. Well, porque sean las eh, la tormentud de las elecciones. Certainly the effects that the virus has had on the whole world. Y obviamente los efectos que este virus ha tenido sobre toda la tierra. Ready for it to all come to an end, huh? Están listos para todo que acabe. Well, the year will end, regardless. Y pues el año va a acabar. And the church year is getting ready to end. Y el año eh, de la iglesia también. We only have a few more weeks left in this church year. Tenemos unas pocas semanas en el año de la iglesia. And as is usual the case, y como es el caso, the readings as we come to the end of the year, las lecturas que estamos leyendo a cuando estamos cerca del fin, are reminding us we're not just coming to the end of the year, que nos recuerdan que no solamente estamos uh, estamos cerca del del fin del año, but we always have to be ready for the Lord to come again, pero también que estemos preparados para que cuando venga el Señor, there will be an end to our life in this world. Va a haber un fin de nuestra vida en este mundo. And the church reminds us, y la iglesia nos recuerda, stay awake, eh, des, estén despiertos, be alert, estén alertas, keep light in your lamps, eh, mantengan la luz en sus eh, lámparas. Hope, esperanza, something we all love to have. Es algo que todos eh, nos queremos tener. Something we all need. Es algo que todos necesitamos. There's an expression, hope for tomorrow. Hay una expresión que dice, esperanza para el futuro. And we all have that. Y todos la tenemos. In various degrees. En varios grados. And the church calls us to hope for tomorrow. Y la iglesia nos llama a que esperemos para mañana. Because people of faith will do that. Porque la gente de fe hace eso. We continue to hope for what is to come. Porque seguimos continuando esperando por lo que viene. And this year is part of the United Catholic Appeal. Y este año por la apelación de la Unión Católica. Hope for tomorrow is the theme. El tema es esperanza para la mañana. And it's kind of fitting at this time for all of us. Y es algo eh, claro que para todos nosotros. Now, we know we're doing the appeal differently this year than we normally do. Ahora sabemos que estamos haciendo la apelación un poco diferente este año con nosotros. But that still can't stop us from hoping. Pero eso no nos debe de parar de seguir esperando. Hopefully, esperemos You all received your time, your intention card for this year's appeal. Esperamos que todos recibieron su carta de apelación de intenciones este año. I got mine this week. Yo recibí la mía esta semana. There it is. Ahí está. So if you are registered to remember the parish, si son un miembro registrado de la parroquia, if you haven't received it, si no han recibido, you will very shortly. Lo van a recibir muy prontamente. And it's a condensed campaign this year because of the pandemic. Y es una campaña más pequeña, obviamente, por este, eh, esta pandemia. Normally we'll have witness talks for people to speak about. Normalmente tenemos eh, testigos que hablan. This year you got me. Esta vez me tienen a mí. And the car. Y las cartas. Uh, what we're going to be doing this year, instead of having an intention Sunday, 
eh, lo que vamos a hacer este año en vez de tener uh, un domingo de intenciones we will ask people who are coming to our public masses vamos a pedirles a, los, a la gente que viene a nuestras misas públicas you can return your card at masses que pueden regresar su carta en la misa next weekend la siguiente semana just fill out your card and put it in the envelope that's with it solamente llenen su carta y pónganla en el But you can also mail it to the archdiocese if you don't have to bring it back to the parish. Pero también se lo pueden mandar por correo a la arquidiócesis. So I just ask you to prayerfully consider to please respond. Y les pido eh, que consideren en sus oraciones para que respondan. And you'll get the information in the mail about the appeal. Y van a tener la información en el correo. And really it's no different than in past years. Y no es diferente que en los otros años. The biggest amount of money collected on the appeal. El, el dinero mayor que se colecta para esta apelación. Goes to support priests, seminarians, and deacons in their formation. Se va a apoyar a los sacerdotes, diáconos y seminarios en su formación. More importantly, pero más importante, it helps all the retired priests. Ayuda a todos los eh, sacerdotes retirados. And the number of retired priests is growing in our diocese. Y el número de sacerdotes retirados está creciendo en nuestra arquidiócesis. So it's a way to support them in their retirement for their years of service to the diocese. Y es una manera de apoyarlos a ellos por todos sus años aquí en la arquidiócesis. So that's where part of the money goes. Es donde parte del dinero va. Another part of the money goes to faith formation. Otra parte va a la formación de fe. It helps our schools and our Uh, uh, faith formation programs throughout the diocese. Ayuda a nuestras escuelas y los programas de formación de fe en toda la arquidiócesis. And the third part, y la tercera parte, goes to outreach and service. Va a la a la extensión y el servicio. Uh, primarily Catholic charities. Es eh, específicamente para las cla uh, calidades católicas. But you can read about it in the information sent to you. Pero la puede leer eh, el, en la información que se le manda. There's also a very good video available. También hay un video que está disponible. You can watch it on the Archdiocesan website. Y lo puede ver en el sitio web de la Arquidiócesis. We're also going to upload it and have it on our parish website too. Pero también lo vamos a tener en nuestro sitio web del Parque. I encourage you to click it on. It's Spanish and English. Les, eh, les digo que por favor lo vean. Está en español y en inglés. So, um, you know, that's one of the ways we can add hope for tomorrow. By supporting the ongoing work of the church. Para apoyar el camino de la iglesia. Not just in our parish, which is very important. No solamente en nuestra parroquia, que es muy importante. But all the good work we're able to do throughout the archdiocese. Pero todo el gran trabajo que podemos hacer en la arquidiócesis. Probably even more crucial now because of the pandemic. Que es más importante y más crucial es pues, eh, porque estamos en pandemia. So pray with the appeal. Y por favor oren con la apelación. Be informed about the good things that it supports. Infórmese de todas las cosas buenas que hace. And give what you can. Y den lo que puedan dar. Like I said, you can either bring the envelopes to church next week or drop them by the office. Como dije, pueden traer las eh, cartas aquí en la misa en la siguiente semana o la pueden dejar en la oficina or send them directly to the diocese o les pueden mandar directamente a la que Dios es por correo the bridegroom is going to return the bridegroom is going to return el 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 hombre el casado va a regresar and we need to be ready y necesitamos estar preparados because we don't know porque no sabemos well, when we continue to pray pero si continuamos a orar, when we continue to serve, y continuamos a servir, continue to contribute to the ongoing mission of the church, y seguimos con, eh, contribuyendo a la misión de la iglesia, that keeps fuel in our lamps. Eso mantén, mantiene el, le, la energía en nuestras lámparas. And it keeps the lamps burning. Y nuestras Nuestras luces siguen eh, esplendeciéndose. Right now with the darkness we need more light. 
Con el, la seguridad ahorita necesitamos más luz. We need more hope. Necesitamos más esperanza. When we participate in the life of the church, cuando participamos en la luz de la iglesia, even as different as it is right now, el, cuando participamos en la luz de la iglesia, aunque es diferente ahorita, we help keep hope alive. Ayudamos a mantener esa esperanza viva. Because the Lord will return. Porque el Señor va a regresar. Will we be ready to receive Him? Y estaremos listos para eh, verlo. Will our light of faith be burning? Estará nuestra luz de fe encendida. Praying, orando, serving, sirviendo, supporting the church, apoyando. Like that also provides the light that the world needs. Eso provee la luz que el mundo necesita. It keeps us ready until He comes. Y nos mantiene listos hasta que él venga. It allows us to be part of the hope for tomorrow. Y nos ayuda ser parte de la esperanza para mañana. With one voice, one faith, we profess what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. It is in faith, in hope, we turn to the God who is always near us to listen to these prayers of petition.
encuentran protección y respeto. Roguemos al Señor. Señor, escucha nuestra oración. For those who are sick and suffering, may they see God's answers to their prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Para aquellos que están enfermos y que sufren, que vean las respuestas del Señor a sus oraciones. Roguemos al Señor. Señor, escucha nuestra oración. For those who have died, may the honor and glory of God be with them in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Para aquellos que han fallecido, que el honor y la gloria de Dios estén con ellos en el cielo. Roguemos al Señor. Señor, escucha nuestra oración. For the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, may our pleas find favor in the will of our Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Para las oraciones que guardamos en silencio de nuestros corazones, que nuestras súplicas encuentren gracia en la voluntad de nuestro Padre. Roguemos al Señor. Señor, escucha nuestra oración. It is to you, Father, all we turn with our needs. Help us to stay ready and alert to the coming of your Son again by living our faith, drawing our hope from you, who is our Lord, forever and ever.
through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Tomeni momento destea, porque este es a calis de mi sangre, sangre de alianza de la eterna, que será derramado por ustedes, por muchos, para el perdón de los pecados. The Conas de Ian, conmemoración. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every 
evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Eh, los misales eh, del Adviento hasta la 
cuaresma han eh, llegado. And we're not able to put them in the pews right now because of the, the pandemic. Y no las puedo poner eh, aquí adentro de la iglesia por razones de la pandemia. But if you would like one to have in your home, pero si le gustaría tener uno para tener en su casa, we invite you to either stop by church or the office to pick one up. Los invitamos a que recojan uno aquí en la iglesia o en la oficina. They can help you in your prayer from Advent in through Lent. Les puede ayudar en su oración eh, durante el Adviento hasta la Cuaresma. We'll have a box of them in the back of church. Vamos a tener una caja llena de ellos atrás de la iglesia. So if you come to one of the masses or come during the week to pray, pues si viene a alguna de las misas o durante la semana oral, and you'd like one, just just take one, okay? Y le gustaría tener una, no más tómela. And then we'll also have some in the office if you come by the office. Y también vamos a tener algunas en la oficina si las quieren recoger ahí. We can't put them out the pews. No las podemos poner aquí adentro. But you can take them home and use them to pray with. Pero las pueden llevar a su casa para que les ayude en su oración. Like I said, they start the first Sunday back. Empiezan el primer domingo de Adviento. They'll go through the Christmas season and then through the Lent season. Y se va hasta la, la temporada de la Navidad hasta el, la Cuaresma. Hopefully by Holy Week and Easter. Y eh, esperemos que para la Semana Santa y la Pascua. As we hope for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, como esperamos para mañana. We'll be able to gather more and have them in church. We'll, we'll see. Eh, tendremos, los podemos poner aquí adentro. But seriously, if you'd like one, you, you know, please, please take one from church here, okay? Pero si quiere una, por favor, tome una. That's it. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. Our closing song is Christ, we are light.